All right, so <laughs> I might sound bad. I just want to say that first and foremost. The audio quality might not be the best thing in the world, and I'm sorry. Hopefully for the next time that I do this, I'll have a better setup. But I was thinking of how I'm going to edit this, and it only makes sense to have pictures here and there. So I have to edit it in this way with my voice like that because it's kind of on short notice since Saturday is, I mean, this is Saturday. It's just like five o'clock in the morning. Don't ask why I'm up this early, late, either or. It's just my sleep, huh, my sleep schedule messed up. So it'd be like that sometimes. But for those who don't know, a couple of days ago, I posted a blaze blue video. And in that video, I said that I wanted to do this. Essentially what I'm going to be doing on Saturdays um, I'm catching up first and foremost on uh, Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to play through pretty much all of the Kingdom Hearts because I have Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 HD Remix thing. I have that game. So I'm going to be catching up in essentially the road to Kingdom Hearts 3. Because if I'm being real with you, I jumped on the bandwagon for it. I'm not doing it for views. I don't think I'm going to stream or um, what is it called? upload any of that to youtube but i'm very interested in the story seeing how everything plays out because there's a lot of hype around it and i want to see what that hype is for if that makes any sense so far the game is good but that is what this little i guess mini series is so for those who don't know anybody new to my channel and you know you stumbled on here because of this video i don't upload saturdays or sundays i use that as kind of two days to either rest or learn slash think about how to improve my video my content videos excuse me and my content but saturday i'm just going to be talking so it's not really you know taking away from rest or you know advanced time D don't worry about it the point is i'm going to be talking about where i'm at in kingdom hearts giving you on youtube um a small update of where i am and hopefully getting some people interested into actually watching some streams my link is in the description for my switch shameless plug <laughs> but yeah so first and foremost um where i'm at as far as the game i just got back to traverse town so if you play you're obviously watching this because you played this game but i just got back from traverse town or to traverse town from the tarzan world not entirely sure what the world is called but obviously there's probably going to be a picture or something on screen um i just got back from there so what i'm doing right now is i'm supposed to give sid a letter of some sort i forgot to be 100 percent honest with you but i just talked to leon um he told me that there's keyholes in every world and i just found the keyhole in traverse town so i fought that one weird monster dude the heartless guy that can stretch and not necessarily stretch but he could take his arms off and stuff so i fought him beat his ass obviously locked the keyhole so no more heartless are in traverse town and I struggled to find Sid, so that's where I ended um, the stream. But as far as what I think about the game, I'm really enjoying it. I didn't think I would get into games like that because it kind of resembles um, a Final Fantasy-esque type of game. I've never played Final Fantasy, so I don't know how it plays. But it kind of resembles that in my head. I might be dumb for those who played both are like, nah, that's you know completely different. But to me, that's what it looks like. Speaking of Final Fantasy, Cloud was actually in the game. When you went to um, Hercules' little world and you did that tournament, Cloud is there. So that's first off dope as hell. I like the addition of all of the characters that they have. I like the fact that Tarzan's in there, Phil, Hercules, Hades. You know, there's definitely going to be more people. It's, it's obvious because there's more villains. And you are going to or at least from what it looks like you're going to travel to different worlds because on the map there was only those four so in my head initially when i started i was like okay we're gonna go to this world then we're gonna from the third world which is the tarzan world um you were going to extend instead of going back but you do go back to huh you go back to traverse town and i really like that because um there are things called trinities where there's little things on the floor and you once you level up and pass a certain part of the game you get to unlock one of those trinity colors so there's so far to my knowledge green white blue and red and right now i've gotten green and white so i'm only missing no wait i've gotten green and no blue and red damn i'm i might be sleepy <laughs> but yeah so i like the fact that it takes you back 
and you can essentially get different things as you go. I also like the magic. I did wish there was a fourth slot because you have um, you have triangle, square, and X to do the magic. I could just kind of wish that there was like circle as well, but circle is more jumping. So I can understand why you would need your movement. I like the fact that there's different moves that you can equip. Like I have this slide thing right now. I have scan. Scan, what it does is it puts a little um, HP gauge on the top left of your screen when you're locked onto an enemy so you know how far you have to go. And that's really helpful when it comes to boss fights because you don't have to be thinking and guessing. You might want to heal up, but he's only a couple of hits away, so you don't want to waste that. The magic is just cool in general. But one thing that I struggled with in the beginning was knowing what to do next because the game, there's a lot of games that when it's story based, they kind of tell you, okay, go this way or do this first, then do this. And this game, although it does give you loose information, you choose where you want to go. If it tells you, all right, let's say in Traverse Town, there's three diff districts. If it tells you go to the third district, you don't have to. Well, eventually you will have to, to continue on with the story, but you can choose how long that takes, if that makes any sense. And what I didn't do is really pay attention to what the characters are saying because the characters will tell you okay yes go and do this or the characters will give you hints as to what you need to do like in traverse town when you need to find leon you talk to the girl in uh first district and she'll tell you like yo he's gonna be here so all you need to do is go there and if you don't talk to people it's going to be very difficult for you to maneuver in the game that is what i figured out because i didn't talk to people when I first was in Traverse Town and I was stuck there for so long. Then I finally talked to somebody and what do you what do you know? You know, we kept on going. In Tarzan's world, I talked to Jane a lot because Jane actually gave you some information. She said, all right, um, there's going to be a gorilla at the treehouse. You would go to the treehouse, then you would go back to Jane. Or at least I went back to Jane and I talked to her so she can lead me in the right direction or somewhat give me loose information. They don't ever tell you like, okay, well, they do tell you rarely in the game go here but they're not going to force you if that makes any sense one thing i didn't like or at least i don't like because i don't really understand it yet was first off building gummy ships because it just looks mad confusing and i'm a bit you know not tempted to learn it i'm a bit what, what would it be intimidated by it because it's when you first look at it's like looking at photoshop for the first time it's mad confusing because there's a lot of buttons and inputs and i don't want to deal with all that but also flying the gummy ship, you can never really tell how high or low you are. Obviously, once you're at the top of the screen, you're at your highest point. Once you're at the bottom, you're at your lowest point. But it changes all the damn time. <laughs> like it just feels like you won't hit a ring. And then what do you know? You hit a ring. So that I just I feel like I just need to get used to it as the game progresses. Um, I did like the multitude of enemies, though, because it's not just the same old head as uh, heartless people you have the heartless with the knight armor you had the pink monkey heartless or gorilla you had the yellow gorilla heartless you have those little witch looking as heartless ones you have the big f I, I don't want to call them fat but they did they're just fat the fat heartless you have the knight looking heartless you have the flying knight looking heartless you have a multitude of enemies on top of bosses and all of the bosses so far have been pretty unique at least from what I've seen in the game, there's never been something that's been done already. So it's really cool. I like how they introduce a lot of characters. I like the cutscenes, okay? I like uh, Riku. Riku is Sauce God because Sora's shoes are big as hell. I said this on Twitter, but if you think Deku's shoes are big and you're not looking at Sora's shoes, we're going to have to have a problem. Like, I am... 100% rocking Deku shoes before I even attempt to lift my leg in Sora's shoes. I stand by that tweet 100%. Slander me if you want, but hey, it'd be like that sometimes. But yeah, no, honestly, the game is extremely entertaining, at least to me. There's going to be a lot of people that are like, oh, no, you know, it's not for me. And I can understand that. I can understand where that game could be for some people and some people find it. I get excuse the chicken in the background dog my neighbors own chickens and i don't even know why like <laughs> this isn't the country dog this is a city what is this there there is no dirt roads we got concrete how how you have chickens here 
I don't know, but they're going to be annoying for a little bit, so I should probably close this out. It's getting close to that time where they wake people up, but honestly, nobody wakes up to that. Anyways, as far as what I give the game out of 10 right now, it's a strong 9, to be real with you, because first off, the music amazing. The gameplay is pretty fun as well. There's a lot of things that I like. Oh, and the fact that you get different keyblades, I didn't even know that was a thing. Right now, I have the jungle keyblade. I'll leave a picture of that on the screen. There's going to be a multitude of pictures as you can, you know, probably already tell. And there's going to be music in the background. But I don't want to leave it without... I want to edit this better than I edit most videos. So, I'm going to try that. But, as always, if you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like. Huh? Go ahead and leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. The sleep is getting to me right now. Again, sorry if the audio was a bit bad. But next time, it'll definitely be better. Like I said, if you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Deuces.